if I asked you the question, what do you stand for? What would be your answer? What would you say? What would you like to say? What do you stand for? I wonder where have you seen people taking a stand? What about Greta? What does she stand for? All these guys, what about them? What about the Black Lives Matter protests? How are they taking a stand? What about heroes like Rosa Parks? She took a stand by sitting down. And in a world where so often people are known for what they stand against, what do you stand for? You know, all throughout the Bible, we see the people of God taking a stand. You know, like Moses going to Pharaoh to say, let my people go when they were in slavery. He stands for freedom. Or like Esther, who loved her people so much that she put her life on the line and spoke truth to power in the middle of suffering. She stands for courage. What about the good Samaritan? He broke all the social rules to care for a stranger. He stands for compassion. Or like Jesus, who stood time and time again, who turned over tables when people were being left out, who, who threw a giant picnic where people were hungry, you know, who challenged leaders when the poor were being mistreated. You know, all throughout the Bible, as followers of Jesus, we are invited to stake a stand in the world for the things of the kingdom, for freedom, for courage, for compassion. In other words, for justice. Now, I don't know what comes to mind for you when you hear the word justice. Justice is one of those weighty words. It can often carry a lot of baggage. Now, I'm the youngest of three siblings and I've always been really bothered about the idea of justice. Whether it was the second-hand school uniform I had to wear and, you know, was that fair? Or what was on my plate at dinner in relation to my brother and was that fair? Well, the ultimate test of justice, learning to, learning to drive and who got to, to use the car and was that fair? You see, my understanding of justice has always been to do with fairness and always revolving around me. But justice in the Bible is a little bigger than things simply being fair and it is far bigger than me. You see, justice in the Bible is this all-encompassing term meaning to make wrong things right. And not just for individuals, but for whole nations and systems too. It's about restoring things to how they were meant to be in the first place. About bringing things and people into right relationship. People with God, people with people, people and the world. And throughout the Bible we see God described as a God of justice, passionate about justice. And who invites us, you and me, to be passionate about justice too. To look outside of ourselves and to bring his goodness to all people, young, old, rich, poor, black, white, wherever they live. Where do you see the need for justice today? I work for IJM, uh, International Justice Mission, which is the world's largest anti-slavery organisation. It's the vision of justice that drives what we do. And we exist because around the world there are more people in slavery today than ever before. They're trapped in sweatshops making our clothes. They're mining the minerals that are in our phones. They're fishing the food that ends up on our tables. And we're all connected to slavery by what we eat and what we buy and what we wear. Injustice? Well, justice looks like freedom. It looks like rescue and restoration for those trapped in slavery. You know, even during lockdown, we've seen over 3,000 people rescued. But justice doesn't stop there. You see, justice means ending slavery for good. It means we work with governments and with businesses and with lawmakers to fix the broken system, to stop it happening in the first place. So you can buy a t-shirt or buy a bar of chocolate and know it was made by people who are free. That's the vision of justice. What does justice mean to you? Where are the wrong things in the world that you want to see put right? It might be something on a world scale, extreme poverty, climate change. What does it mean to say, you know, I am part of a global family and I am going to stand for justice? 
They might be joining IJM and fighting slavery. What would it mean to say, I won't be free until all are free. I'm putting my foot down and I'm gonna stand for justice. It might be something closer to home, in school even. What would it mean to look, uh, to put an end to, to gossip or, or bullying? What would it mean to say, I'm gonna choose kindness and friendship and inclusivity, even with people I don't naturally click with? What would it mean to stand for justice there? You know, when we say yes to Jesus, we get to be part of something much, much bigger than ourselves. We get to be part of God's world changing plan to bring justice, to make wrong things right. And as a generation, let's not settle for lukewarm, half-hearted Christianity. You see, God is a God of justice. He calls us to be a people of justice. What is it that you stand for today?